Welcome back, 913. Well, NASA's next mission sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. Early tomorrow morning, a spacecraft is going to make its way toward an asteroid to prevent it from slamming into Earth. Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King has all the details on it. It is fascinating. It really is cool, Amy. Yeah, the spacecraft is called a DART, D-A-R-T. NASA's calling this a planetary defense mission, which in itself, that name is intriguing to me. Joining us to talk about it is Zach Fletcher. Zach, good morning. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Excellent. I'm so glad you were able to join us. Now, everyone wants to know, Zach, can you tell us what the DART mission exactly is? What does it all really encompass? Tell us about that. Yeah, so DART is an APL built and managed spacecraft, mm -hmm. uh, and it will be going on its way to the asteroid uh, Dimorphos. Um, and so the, the point of the DART mission is to uh, run a spacecraft at 15,000 miles per hour oh, wow. uh, into this asteroid as a as a means of uh, testing planetary defense. Zach, can you tell us planetary defense? What what does that mean? Are we protecting the the, the Earth from Martians or what, man? Tell us tell us more about that. Give us give us kind of a broad yeah. overview. Yeah, so planetary planetary defense is really two things. So the the first aspect of it. Um, is to try and find all the potential ha hazardous asteroids out there. So there, there are millions of asteroids that are actually tracked by NASA. And so that's the, the first part. The second part of it uh, is, you know, we don't want to become the dinosaurs. So uh, <laughs> if we found an asteroid that were on its way with a collision course with Earth, what would you do about it? And so that's where the DART mission comes in. Um, we want to prove that uh, we are able to deflect an asteroid uh, if one were ever found to be on its way to Earth. And, and to be clear, they're, they're, the, the target of the DART mission is not currently on a collision course with, uh, with Earth. Gotcha. Yeah, Zach, what, what's the likelihood of an asteroid being large enough to really pose a risk, a danger uh, to Earth that we would need to maybe use this type of technology to avoid like a huge natural disaster or something? Tell us about that. Yeah, sure. So to, to make you feel better, it's not very likely at all. Um, that said, there are tiny little meteors that hit Earth uh, on the daily basis. There's about 80 to 100 tons uh, of meteors that, hit, that impact Earth, and they just burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere. Um, when you get to the large asteroids, um, an asteroid about the size of the, DART, the one that the DART mission is targeting, Dimorphos, um, that would have some serious consequences if it were to impact Earth. That happens about once every 25,000 years. Uh, we just want to be prepared if there ever were one uh, that we would know how to handle it. All right, Zach Fletcher, you made that sound easy peasy, buddy. Hopefully a success. We're looking forward to it and maybe visiting with you again. Would you come back and visit us on Good Day Orlando, Zach? I would love to. Beautiful. Good to have you this morning, my friend. Zach Fletcher, everyone. Thank you with the dark mission there. What a fascinating concept and certainly more to come. Zach, have a great Thanksgiving. You take care. You as well. All right, sir. Be well. All righty.